Hey everyone, happy new year. Uh, this is the uh, beginning of a really awesome year for me and you, I hope, and I'm um, looking forward to, I've got a whole bunch of cool stuff lined up for you. I spent a lot of time this vacation just thinking about topics I haven't hit on, and it just seems like, you know, it's weird. You just, there just is endless stuff to, <laughs> to talk about. I don't know why, there's just a lot. So anyway, something that I get a lot of questions on, I just wanted to hit this really quick today, um, people, I get a lot of questions about signatures. Do you sign your work? Do you not? And you know, of course, this is completely subjective. There's no rule to this. And I'll just, so I'm just going to tell you what I do. Um, I sign my work. I sign it in the, in, and um, I put it on the front. And so I sign just my last name. It's a little hard to see here. It says Wilton. I scratch that in. I usually do it with a pencil when the paint's wet, or I'll do it with a fine brush. Now, here's the thing with signatures. I think it's important to put the name your name on the front of the work because it's your work and that's they're buying an original thing and you want to reinforce that and but I you know I like to do it to where it's not really distracting okay so that's that's like if you make a mark on your picture it's part becomes part of the design of the pa painting and if you want to have your name be part of that that's one thing but you know I see a lot of people like you know like if this was my painting and I'm still working on this I could you know if I was going to sign this I would, I would probably do it like about this, you know, this. So it's like it's in there and people can find it and it kind of like it's in there. It's like a second reading. But I don't think I would go like this, you know, like I'm not going to do this. I don't want to draw attention. My work's not about my signature. So I don't tend to do that. You can do that. I just want you to be aware that this is suddenly part of the picture, and people are going to go, oh, well, what, what is that writing on the bottom? You know? So it's kind of this second reading thing. I think it makes a difference. When I look at people looking at my work, they look, and they look for the signature. It's like they just, oh, yeah, great. There it is again. And you're reinforcing who you are. Now, on the back of the picture, this is an older painting. On the back of the picture, I put all kinds of information. I retitle it. I put the title. This painting is called Nine Lives. I put the dimensions on it, and I write what the materials are. I put the date on it, and I, every painting I have has an image number, and I write my name, and sometimes I write my website. But I, you, know, you always want to put that information on the back of the picture because the picture is going to go out into the world, and someone might in 10 years from now want to find who did that, and they'll turn it around. They can contact you. They can see the materials. And um, so that's how I handle it. Again, this is not, there's no rules to this. But I just, people, I get a lot of questions for that, so I just thought I'd give you that information. So have a great, happy new year, new month, new everything, and uh, I will be seeing you real soon. Okay, thanks. So I forgot. Um, let me know how you do this, the signature thing. Leave some comments below, because um, there's a whole bunch of ways to do this. And I mean, some people are, I mean, there's just different things, and I would love to get that information. So uh, let me know how you do this. I'd be really curious, and so would everyone else. Okay, thanks a lot.